Ah, uh, shit. I have been fucking freaking out. Dude, these mics, this is the number. Here, hit. Oh, you're, still, you're still in mics. <laughs> Dude, you're the one comic still hitting mics. These mics have been bonkers <laughs> lately, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's just me. I what happens is there's a bunch of people in like hamster bubbles <laughs> and they just open up the top and throw the mic in. And then a guy goes uh, the guy who literally spent thousands of dollars to get his own hamster uh-huh. quarantine hamster ball. The walls goes was uh, uh I'm not sure what <laughs> Um I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, it's uh Yeah, I think I'm going to give time back to the room. Yeah, I mean, and then he rolls out of there like a hamster. <laughs> Dude, oh, man, I'm telling you, uh, this coronavirus, I mean, besides it being bad, domestic violence is on the rise, bro. I'm I honestly, you. I wish I wish I got fired already. Yeah, because I'm so wish. I'm so clearly getting fired in a month. There's no way to make a sale. Everybody's going to get fired. But the nice thing is, mm-hmm. is uh, laid it, off, not it, fired. And, and, well, for, I might get furloughed, which is honestly maybe worse because I got, then I don't get I my got two a weeks. Load for you, <laughs> you fucking faggot. <laughs> There's um, furlough is kind of worse because I don't get my two weeks. I love getting hey. laid uh. off. You know what I mean? I got a big fur load. I got a Kevin's getting gayed off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, shit. Hey, Kevin, I'm sorry to do this to you, but uh, we're gonna have to gay you off. <laughs> Uh, you have one hour to collect your things to shove them up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were, were we recording? Oh yeah. Wait, is it? Oh pu- fuck! I'm playing it through the TV. Ah uh, damn it! Oh, you damn fu- it. dude, it would have been perfect. It's dude. It's a hey, everybody. You know. God it, damn it! Yeah, fill your heart with grace. Ben <laughs> is a fucking idiot. I was literally thinking. I was like, oh shit! I wish we were recorded that. Mm-hmm. We were recording the whole time. Oh wow! You secret little bitch. We were recording the whole time. Yeah, fucking Pete Holmes over here with the yeah. secret podcast what star. <laughs> <laughs> when Pete Holmes is the Mad Hatter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just the Shit. constant laughter. Right. Dude, what came? Does a cord come I think, out? I, I think a cord came out, maybe. I know nothing about audio, but I'm giving you advice for some Did reason. Did the cord fall out? Let me, let me see. Is it? Yeah, that's it. This is it. Uh, this is the, the USB cable. Yeah, yeah. Where's it going it's in? It's plugged in. It is? Yeah. Yeah. Is it maybe not plugged in at the board? Oh, that sounds like... Try that now. That sounded good. No. Oh, shit. No, we're, we're keeping this rhythm going. Yeah. Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys. Um, <laughs> super excited about the pod this week. I've been really lonely. Oh, uh, <laughs> I have to wrap it up, which is unusual. Is this woke Satan's brother, gay Satan? Hi, uh-huh, you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> oh my god, did you guys just meet my gay brother? <laughs> gay oh, hey, Satan. hey, woke Satan. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey. Yeah, my brother's gay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to let him do the intro this time. Okay. <laughs> Remember to wash your dicks, everybody. <laughs> Soap and water, guys, yeah. Hey, say, say welcome to Brain Jail, and you go, girl. <laughs> Welcome to Brian Town. Oh my God! You go, girl. <laughs> well, yes. Welcome well, to Brain Jail. Uh, Gay Satan is just RuPaul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love the, this is uh, the most diverse uh, between worlds podcast that you'll find out there. <laughs> um, that even the devil's gay. Mm-hmm. You know, even the devil's gay on our podcast because we are yeah. all about inclusion. They used to say that in a uh, church all the time. Even the devil's gay, folks. Folks, y'all are gay. Everybody's gay <laughs> out here. Look, the Lord can fill you with love, turn you straight, and make you fuck a woman tonight. 
<laughs> Look, we don't care if you're 11, 22, 105 years old. If you're getting horny, get into a committed relationship and fuck tonight under the <laughs> watchful, loving eyes of the Lord. Whoever feels that they've not been sucked off recently, please, uh, during the service, uh, during the song, please come down, fill out a card, and we will fuck you in the ass. With all heads bowed and all eyes closed, <laughs> if you've been getting fucked in the ass, go ahead and just raise your hand. Just, you know what, you know, just go look up and make eye contact with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay i see it all I right see, i see you there now I see you there we're gonna take a brief moment of silence for me to make direct eye contact with every female <laughs> child in the room <laughs> one mississippi two <sighs> mississippi dude we uh my my pastor used to uh he told me about this this story about when he was a he was a young pastor uh-huh. and he was doing an altar call which if you don't know what an altar call is uh, it's uh, where essentially it's where you poop in a bag and then light it on fire in <laughs> yeah. front of somebody's door. It's poop again. <laughs> uh, great movie. Yeah, great movie. <laughs> um, it's poop. Don't put it out with your boots, Ted. <laughs> great movie. Um, Is that Billy Madison? Billy Madison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me my business, devil woman. <laughs> Dude, you know what I was laughing great about? Movie. The idea of, of just like. A month from now, the corona gets so bad. I'm just watching Dirty Work in a hazmat suit. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I'm still just retarded as all can be. Oh, yeah. I did a drawing. Protective I gear. did a drawing the other day, but you know those things doctors use to, like, visit patients, like, from afar, where it's a little iPad on a wheeled stand? A yeah. I was just, I go to the strip club with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just the little, the little robot going into the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it, it's just dancing on, on the ball. Do you spit up. out dollar bills? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. It's a little ATM machine. Uh, well, before we get to uh, into the future of going to a strip club, <laughs> uh, welcome to Brain Jail. I'm Kevin Tick, and I'm here with Jason Wayne Avery, the Avery brothers from Texas. Hey. Uh, did you say Jason and Wayne Avery? Mm-hmm. Jace and Wayne Avery. Jason <laughs> Wayne Avery. Uh, Jace. I, I have a new impression. Jace. What? Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, that's <laughs> bad. <laughs> well, Ben was just doing an impression of Asian people, and then he figured out he could do Scooby Doo. Well, I figured out Scooby Doo, Baby Yoda, and Sling Blade. It's all the same voice, just at a different pitch. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. See, yeah. you've got the the key to impression. Yeah, you're so. like you're like Greg Maddox in his prime. You got the cutter, the splitter, the curveball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can w- hit every corner right now. Hey, let me do this intro real quick. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> if, if you're enjoying the pod, make sure to, to uh, rate and review us on iTunes. Uh, it is Rain the, Rail. It, it's, it's the, <laughs> send us an email to brainjailpod at gmail dot com. Um, uh, this podcast is three uh, three boys. We're friends. Uh, we're we're a gang. We're gay. Yeah. Uh, oh. We're gay and we're retarded. And, we're a gay uh, retarded gang. And we used to <laughs> praise the Lord real hard, and now uh, we're just stricken with guilt and mm-hmm. emotional uh, betrayal. Yep. And but we still love Jesus over the. Well, I love. Oh man, a JC because he's Jewish. Yeah, I love. I mean, it had to be. Otherwise, it didn't fulfill oh. the scriptures. Mm-hmm. The Torah would be bullshit if <laughs> Jesus wasn't Jewish. Mm-hmm. 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 I, I I do think it's interesting that uh, that Christianity is the only religion where everybody like people are just like, yeah, I'm really I'm studying Eastern religion. And it's like, oh wow, Namaste. That's really great. And it's like, yeah, I'm Jewish. I read the Torah. I was bar mitzvah, and that's awesome, man. So cool. And somebody's like, yeah, I'm a Christian. They're like. Oh, what the fuck? You're a fucking Christian? <laughs> fucking gross. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, yeah. I like love Jesus. I like want a free Palestine. It's like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what are you You're just a fucking piece of shit? Oh, wait, you want a free Palestine? Oh, r- f- fucking hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it depends uh, who you're talking to there. Well, that's very true. Yeah. I thought we were talking to the Jewish guy in the bit. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 I'm no, no, so no. sorry. Uh, let me do it again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you forgot. I love Gal Gadot. Oh, I'm going to fuck a bagel. <laughs> I love Gal Gadot. I'm jerking off the Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot was in the IDF. Oh, good. I love watching the Wonder Woman. Oh. It's the power of a Jewish oh, woman. Oh, when she oh. sang Imagine by John Lennon, who was not Jewish, but kind of looked Jewish, so oh, we'll count it. Jewish principles. Mm. <laughs> you know, Natalie Portman was born in Israel. <laughs> Oh, God, I did not. Yeah. I knew I liked her for some reason. <laughs> oh, I loved her in Leon the Professional. Oh, She God. was so hot. She's so fucking hot in that movie, dude. Only 11, but she knew she was going to be bangable in about six months. She, Dude, she was 11, but she came across as a hard 12. A hard I, 12. I was a hard 12, if you know what I mean. 12 oh, centimeters. Oh, what about a movie called Leon the Pedophile? Okay. 
Le- I like that, and it's the same exact movie. But he's in the uh, he's in the basement at a Comet Ping Pong. Okay, all right. <laughs> and they're just like trying to break in. And, and Gary Oldman's like fuck everyone, and the guy's like, oh, he's like everyone. <laughs> and the uh, the pills that Gary Oldman eats, they're just uh, blue chew. Yeah. yeah. When he cracks the pill, he's like. Yeah, yeah. He's great in that. Did you know in the original cut of them? Did you know? I'm Jiminy Glick now. Hey, and by the way, we can play any music we want because yeah, it's yeah, audio yeah. only. Yeah, fuck it. Um, did you know in the original uh, cut of that movie, the professional, he does like kind of have sex with her. Yeah. With Natalie Portman's character. Yeah, I, did Isn't you, she 12 in the movie? Did yeah. You, you guys know I was used to be a professional director. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the guy who directed that movie actually dated like a 15 year old when he was like a grown ass man, like in his mid 30s. Yeah. Who? Uh, his name's like Jean Luc, like gay guy or some shit like that. I don't know. Jean Luc pick up on younger women. <laughs> Jean Luc card. Jean Luc faggot. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let's e- ease it up on that. Sorry. Sorry, it's the apocalypse. We're all stressed. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm more like I, the, I, I've been stress slurring. I prefer a, a pack of tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish that just a tits raining from the sky. Yeah, that'd be pretty uh, sweet. I just look outside Man. and with my binoculars on, my wife goes, "What are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing." Oh, that's your sequel to Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Yeah, is the meatballs are just big ass titties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. titties. I, it's the same exact movie, but instead of making food fall from the sky, it's titties. Okay, I like that. It yeah. Sounds like a blockbuster. Big titty movie. lands on his house, yeah. kills his wife. A cockbuster, maybe. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoo! I don't know how you guys have you get, Kevin. Have you been going kind of crazy, being locked inside like a caged animal? Yeah, a little bit. And uh, dude, my neighbors have just been, been sh- fighting like fucking yeah. crazy. I mean, they fight all the time. Dude, my name. Ah, oh, man, she's a straight up psychopath. I'm my wife. So you're siding with the man. I'm siding with the man because all I can hear is the woman going, <laughs> "Fuck you, fuck you." Uh, these are get no, out. These are non whites, correct? No, 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 no. This is this is a uh, this is a white and a non white, and uh, this is the lady. <laughs> Uh, a white so, and a white. So, so a white, a white guy and a Jewish woman. No, no, no. This is a, <laughs> it's a light skinned black dude. He seen my wife uh, thinks he's retarded or whatever. Uh, he's Wait, for real. For real, she thinks he's a little slow. But uh, they uh, apparently they were fighting the other day about him doing uh, crack. Ah. But then I told my wife, I was like, "Do you think she would just be in racist?" <laughs> the, she was saying that he's like doing crack or whatever. But it, literally, their fights are the same. It's her growling, screaming "fuck you" about 127 times in a row. Mm-hmm. Literally, it feels like that. It'll be like two in the morning, and I'll wake up from a dead sleep, and I'll just hear "fuck you, fuck you, get out." And then he uh, gets out, and then he comes right back. Have you ever heard you, them hit is, each other? This is drugs, right? You think it's drugs? Um, I don't think she does drugs. She also sent my wife an email, uh, text message that was like, "Your husband." Is really partying all night. He was like he, he was. I don't know what he was doing, but he came out the next day. This is when we you were out of town and said, uh, "Well, I really can't party the way I used to." Stayed up all night, was jumping around, dancing. Why'd you Just, do that? I. <laughs> it was like you ever have a thing where somebody accuses you of something and you can't even figure out. When what? you are innocent of the thing you're being accused of, yeah, yes. yeah. unless yes. you like were well, sleepwalking I, or something. I don't sleepwalk, and uh, I was up all night, uh, but I was, <laughs> <laughs> I I wasn't dancing. I was literally watching movies. You know what I mean? I was like watching YouTube videos and just stupid bullshit. This mm-hmm. was like eight months ago or whatever. This is forever ago, and I I'd stayed up all night. In my uh, I got home at like three in the morning after doing you know just just hustling the open mic scene sure yeah you know just just grinding it you know what i mean <laughs> just grinding my passion mm-hmm. and i i came home and i just watched a bunch of dumbass youtube videos about how to do the swizzer or whatever the fucking <laughs> latest Fortnite dance is and uh i love those videos and uh then the next morning i'm walking the dog so that the dog can take a huge shit and i see him and and she like gives me the, the eye and i was like morning that was it and then my wife gets back and she sends her this text is like your husband is making noise all night he's partying all night do you even know who he is yeah i gotta side with her on this yeah you know you're right 
<laughs> this is a thanks. You know what? I got. I can change. I can do better. Don't divorce me. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. No problem, Ben. Uh, so. <laughs> I've been saying a lot of no no words behind closed doors. Yeah, Ben is really that's what, how I've been handling what's Ben. New? Ben's version of like I've just been getting drunk or high every night as a little vacation from my brain. Um, ben has just been turning into Michael Richards every night. <laughs> it's really it's not good. Yeah. Just, just mindlessly walking around, just singing singing no no words. <laughs> <laughs> just walking in a circle in my living room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just listening to NWA. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I told Ben it's going to be like that scene in The Shining where I go, I find like 500 pages of typed words. Oh, yeah. And then I go up to him and it's just the, like the fucking N word over and over <laughs> again and I'm flipping through it and I'm like freaking out. And then Ben's just behind me. He's like, you like it? <laughs> yeah, you and like I, it? I, I axed through Jace's door and I stick my head through and I go, here's Johnny Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> you just ax through the door mm-hmm. you put your head in and you scream the n-word mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah just, i'm like start laughing ragin <laughs> ragin <laughs> scat mccrothers is like this motherfucker <laughs> scat man yeah you go you go you go straight for scat man crothers scat man crothers is there yeah like in the original shining oh yeah big yeah. ass white teeth yeah, yeah. gotta love them. Gotta love some big teeth. <laughs> I got. I want to get uh, horse teeth transplants. <laughs> I've been thinking about that. Get a horse chompers. Mm-hmm. What if you did? What if I did? What if I did do that? What if I? What if I was Todd Glass? <laughs> what, if, what if I took a horse's teeth and put them in my mouth? Yeah, I mean, you probably die realistically. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, no, you got to try. You know what I mean? You, you never know until you you try. I'm gonna get a horse's ass put on my body. That's wanna, what I'm doing. I want to have a horse's dick surgically uh, <laughs> put on my forehead. <laughs> and, like then, that. and that's how you get on America's Got Talent. And then I get upset anytime but if somebody mentions it. I'm like, that's none of your fucking business, bro. <laughs> like, hey, what's with the horse dick on your forehead? Uh, I'm not here to explain everything right. to you. I don't have to explain all. I my ain't decisions. got time to explain to you, ignorant ass white boys. <laughs> yeah, you're transracial now. You yeah. ignorant ass non horse dick forehead. Do you think that's what being Rachel Dolezal is? Is sewing a horse stick to your head? Absolutely. And it doesn't even take either. It's clearly dead. You're there's like mold on your face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I just got a little bit paranoid because my throat just started hurting. Inked very slightly. Okay. But I just also ate a Reister bunny. <laughs> so it's either I have COVID-19 or I just ate too many Reister bunnies. Yeah, sounds. I would diagnose you with a case of the sweet tooth. I have a big so, zit on my neck, and I thought I had COVID. Like, literally everything yeah. is making me go, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, an Asian guy actually coughed in my mouth this morning, and then my nose got really runny. I was like, oh, shit, I have COVID, but I was fine. Yeah, yeah. I saw an Asian guy on TV. I put a mask on right away. <laughs> I'm, I'm texting Katie to make me one of those fake bullshit healthy things. Oh, let's, like let's so I'm not. I'm not texting just for no reason. So Katie's into this fake holistic bullshit. Yeah, stuff. Katie thinks she's going to beat the coronavirus with like magnesium supplements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, she's got a cauldron. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. I was much. like, yeah, yeah. Chinese people weren't taking a bunch of shitty fake supplements. Yeah, uh, they might have been. No, that's a joke. Because that's that's she gets all her shit from Chinatown, Ooh. like the Chinese. Uh, yeah, stuff. she's taking a pill with the coronavirus. Is the pill. In yeah. pill form, she's taking it. The coronavirus. Mm-hmm. And pill, now and not with that weird aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> now without that funky taste. Yeah, Katie today brought down a, a she printed out a sheet. It's like how to avoid COVID nineteen. Mm. But we've been going outside for two weeks straight. Yeah, like her hairdresser came over, and I was like, "There's, it's just here. We already have it. They we're not." Mm-hmm. gonna beat it by washing our hands at this point. Well, I mean, what six people have it in the whole world? I think four hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah, four fifty thousand. Uh, but Kevin, you're thinking of trans people. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. There's one guy. Everybody talks about it. Um, no, I. It, you're, if you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. You know what I mean? Right. You know, if you know, if it's your time, it's your time. Just die with some fucking pride. You know what I mean? <laughs> if it's your time to go, if you get the COVID, just fucking do what a walk into a, the ocean. Do what a, a cat does. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, just crawl off to die. Go out into the woods and just fucking die. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just an old World War II veteran yeah. shivering in the woods. Or like an old person in Alaska. Just find yourself a, a just an ice sheet. <laughs> 
just <laughs> get a pickaxe, chop it off of mm-hmm. the mainland, mm-hmm. and just float away with some goddamn dignity. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, why. for sure. Yeah. All these people are like, oh, I'm going to find a cure. I need to stick around and feel better. <laughs> oh, it's like, <laughs> stop thinking about yourself, you selfish prick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. The minute I get it, I'm going to hang glide off the Hollywood sign. Oh, absolutely. Just into a building, the nearest building I can hit. I want to, I'm going to tie a rope to my neck Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to tie it to like a, just a stop sign. Okay. (laughs) And then I'm going to, I'm going to sit in my car and I'm going to put the rope through the sun. Sunroof. Sunroof. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, it's going to be like 200 feet. Which was the first victim of the coronavirus. Oh, really? With sunroof. Oh, <laughs> the road in that. Is, uh, uh, yeah, and then just drive like, uh, you know, 55. Right. I did always think just like. Just have it yank me out of the sunroof. I did always think if I was going to kill myself, what I would do is I would get like a 400 foot noose and then just go up to the top of like the tallest skyscraper. Go ahead, go to Trump Tower mm-hmm. and then just jump off and let it like just hang me halfway down the building. That'd be pretty tight. If I kill myself, I'm going to have a note in my pocket that's just a, an exact copy of the guy that killed himself uh, from the, the I'm Dying Up Here book. <laughs> <laughs> you just ripped that page out of the book. What yeah. did his note say? It was just like uh, the flap is open. Mike is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like as me and me and Bruce have said it back and forth. Is it, it goes through this thing a lot, like hey, you know, thanks for everything or whatever. Uh, but it's like when they were doing the strike, uh, you know, the at comedy, the comedy store, store strike yeah. and all that stuff. But at one point, he just he goes fairness, just fairness, right? He and, was mad that he wasn't getting booked. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was the original Joker, really. If you don't think about it. Yeah, absolutely. He was the original Joker. I like that. I yeah. like I like the way that you put that. And honestly, the original to- Joker was Jack Nicholson, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> the worst person on earth. <laughs> well, who was the original Joker from the the 60s or the, the what's Oh uh, yeah, it's uh, Caesar uh, not Romero, but something Caesar like that. Milan. Caesar, Caesar Milan. Caesar Milan. Yeah. Caesar yeah. Seah. Yes, it was Caesar Chavez. The Bat yeah. Whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> Caesar Milan. Yeah, that was the original Mexican Joker. Yeah. Caesar Chavez, yeah. Hey, Joker. Like, uh, <laughs> hey, Batman, like, why are you fucking around all the time, dog? <laughs> <laughs> like, your utility belt, belt? You could put, like, tools in that and shit. <laughs> I mean, you could, like, not, like, wear spandex, you know what I mean? Like, uh, a little bit, because, like, you're kind of, like, you look kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get you're a superhero and shit, and we all know that you're Bruce Wayne, because I recognize that package anywhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you hey, got- Batman, like, why are you hanging around that kid all the time that's <laughs> fucking weird dog <laughs> this is robin <laughs> he's my super boy yo i think they fucking they sucking each other off dog the boy wonder if i can be honest if i can like if i could be real right now batman's fucking gay dude <laughs> <laughs> he just got like dildos and condoms in his utility belt, bro. <laughs> and lube though because he's a considerate lover yeah man like the bat symbol like if you look at that shit closely like the nambla symbols in there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if you fold, it's like a twenty dollar bill. Yeah, if yeah, you fold yeah. it in the right way, it's a boy's penis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It says Jeffrey Epstein did nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah dude. I'm the Riddler, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the Joker, <laughs> dude. I started laughing uh, out loud to myself uh, on the couch, and Jenny was like, uh, "What are you laughing about?" I'm like. I just thinking about something Ben said the other <laughs> the other day when you were doing a fake impression. You're like, are you are you are you, are you talking to me? Because uh, I'm the only one queer. Oh, are you drinking my pee? <laughs> are you drinking my pee? Because I'm the only one queer. <laughs> and I just started laughing out loud. And she's just she looked at me like when a dog kind of thinks you said treat. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's just like, I don't understand it just i don't know uh it cracks me up gosh we're such great friends yeah <laughs> oh man dude you know with uh, the mood i'm in right now is like i want to dig a hole in the ground stick my head in it with my ass out and i want yeah. someone to play on my ass like a couple bongos <laughs> <laughs> just really go to town on my ass just i want like a big big jamaican lady to just slap the shit out of my ass and play it like a bongo okay and do hot. like an arrested development type beat <laughs> And then, like the horseshoe song, Jace. How's it go? I don't fucking know, man. You know Arrested Development, the band. Yeah, I know him. I don't know the horseshoe song. Man. I'm not deep in the Mama discography. Mama, horseshoe. 
I know the song good. Tennessee, and that's yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I want a big Jamaican Nobody lady to play song. the song Tennessee <laughs> on my ass like a bong. Yeah, you want Hell cheetah? Yeah. You want a cheetah banana? What's her name? Cheetah, Chiquita ba- banana. Chiquita Chiquita banana. Chiquita Chiquita banana. banana. Mm-hmm. Cheetah Excuse banana. Excuse me, Miss Banana. <laughs> Pardon me, Miss Banana. Pardon me, Miss Banana, but I do. Uh, your titty has come loose. Miss Banana, if you nasty. <laughs> uh, Chichi Banana. <laughs> Chichi Banana. <laughs> Ch- uh, Chiquita Banana is trans now, by the way. Oh, good for her. Yeah. She, and, took, really? she took that banana and made it in a cock. Yeah. <laughs> Just sewed it to the base for a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> somebody goes to the fact they're like is that a banana and she's like excuse me <laughs> excuse uh you're an asshole i don't have time it is a banana first <laughs> off and second off i don't have time for no ignorant ass white boys <laughs> to be asking me about my moldy banana dick mm-hmm. i don't know ignorant ass white boys yeah asking me about my b- my black banana dick. before she has sex she peels the banana before she puts it in somebody <laughs> I, oh, this never happens. It just it just turns into mush immediately. <laughs> it never happens. It never happens. Just mushing the banana into some guy's ass. <laughs> it's gone now. You mind if I eat it? You mind if I eat that banana? Are you gonna eat that? Uh, you know, sometimes if my dick gets too old, what I'll do is I'll put it in the freezer, and then you uh, put that in a blender. You got a little ice cream there. Hey, can I ask you guys a serious question on completely unrelated? Yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted to make videos of me shitting off a high place. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this is a time where I can start that? I think this is definitely, this is the time for just complete whatever you want to do. It's a, here, it. It, all the videos are exactly one, actually 69 seconds long. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it just, it, it opens. Uh-huh. It's a slow fade from black. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you a slow, even, slow, <laughs> like fade. a 2001 space odyssey. If it's 69 slow seconds, fade. it's 20 seconds of a fade. in. <laughs> And it, smooth it, jazz playing over the top. Yeah, you don't even know what you're looking at, <laughs> and then it zooms out, mm. and you realize it's my uh, just it's just my ass. Okay, okay. And, All right. it's, and I'm spreading my cheeks. Okay, yeah. and then it zooms even further. I've got to get a really nice lens for this. I'm gonna have to really get a nice extension lens, and then uh, <laughs> and then I'm just shitting off of places. Okay, there's no response from anybody, uh-huh. <laughs> and then another twenty seconds. Is slow it fade all out. black and white? Oh, gotta be black and white. <laughs> I'm smoking a cigarette out of my right. ass. <laughs> you're like, you're the Fellini of jackass. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's also important that uh, there's a lot of just, there's a lot of hair and shit already in all, the, in the shit already on my ass. Okay. No, no, no it's a shitty ass. <laughs> There's shit all over my ass, and then mm-hmm. uh, the, sh- <laughs> the shit just, and then a new turd comes. Okay, out, all right. Uh, okay, I like that. And then uh, all, all you hear is a guy going, nah, "C'est la vie, <laughs> <laughs> c'est la vie." Uh, je ne sais quoi, pas quoi, me I wonder if there's a guy that has such a shitty ass that he just like <laughs> he just. He like sits down and sh- and like shits like all the time, oh, okay. like with his pants on. How, what? So he just into has his shit. pants. Yeah, he just has shit all over his fucking ass and in his hole. Yeah. So he eventually it just gets so hard that he has to shave the shit off of his ass. Okay, I think that's probably there. Probably is a guy like that. <laughs> like, honestly, he probably has a straight razor. And, right. Like, really has. To he just uses that tool. Peel they, it off like a mask. He uses that tool they use to uh, when they take horseshoes off a horse, uh, and a they chisel? have to like a chisel the crud off of the yeah, yeah. goddamn. Nail. He's just he's he's <laughs> he's naked from the waist down right. like Pooh Bear. He's got his legs behind his head and he's got a hammer and a chisel. Just going ding ding. And I think ding. I think he also perhaps if I can have creativity, a uh, creative license here. I think sometimes he can pop the whole shell of shit off like a Lego hair piece. Oh, that's oh wow! And like, it just comes off like, like a, a little dipped bowl. Cone? Yeah, like a dipped cone. Yeah. yeah, and then he eats it. Yeah, it's actually an old folklore that if that happens, it means you're gonna have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh gonna have a great day uh yeah eight more weeks of winter yeah, yeah maybe like, he lays on his back and pisses himself to soften the shit up a little mm-hmm. bit okay and then he reaches back behind himself and peels the layer of shit yeah off and out of his hat like a korean face mask yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah yeah it also it also works great as a waxing it's, yeah that guy's actually he's he, oh. using those shells mm-hmm. to make n95 masks for hospitals a lot of people don't know that because they're a, in shortage right now. It is a, <laughs> it's a trip to think about how uh, what people's asses, how shitty their asses were before toilet paper. Oh, medieval times? No, dude, they had bidets then. 
No, no, no. In no, castles, I'm, they have bidets? Yeah, you had a frog. It <laughs> yeah, was like the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, a frog water. spitting oh. water in your no, ass. They had little cherub fountain. Like, a little boy would shoot water out of its mouth, like a little stone boy. Yeah, that was just a fountain, fountain. And they would stick their ass. Wait, did you think the, the fountains mouth. in front of castles were bidets where they would wash their asses? <laughs> that's off? what they would. That's what the fountains were for. It's <laughs> back in the old days in the town square. People yeah. people would go there and stick their asshole on right. the the fountain. There's just a bunch of people <laughs> dancing with their their knees together, mm-hmm. like in front of the fountain, like ah, oh, I got a shit. Yeah, you would actually shit onto the little statue boy's head mm-hmm. and then the fucking and then have spray water up your ass. Piss into your yeah. ass to wash the shit off. Mm-hmm. And the gay guys would stick their assholes on uh, the Yellowstone uh, geyser, Old Faithful. <laughs> yep. And, and then shoot up the guys ass. in the line would go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, money hog, money hog, money hog. And it's just like, <laughs> you're waiting, you're taking too long. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> you guys what, ever do that? What's when, money hog? Oh, I'm sorry. They used to say water hog. Oh, okay. Do you, you guys mm. ever do that? No. What is that? When I was a kid, uh, we'd all be waiting in line for the water fountain because we were just blown away by the new technology. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was the 1940s. Oh, it was the 1760s. You were, you were at the white uh, fountain. We were at the whites only <laughs> fountain. And no, it, people would be waiting in line to, to get a drink of water and they would count to 10 and then they would scream water hog. Mm. Hmm. And I would cry, but I keep drinking <laughs> because nobody fucking stops. As people me. were beating you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, water hog, water hog. They just hitting me over the head with a baseball bat. <laughs> By the way, most terrifying uh, issue in public schools today, even today with the coronavirus, uh-huh. uh, when you're drinking from water fountain, somebody hits in the back of the head. Yeah, that is and, true. And you you chip your tooth. Yeah. Terrifying. That is the biggest threat to our public safety. Absolutely. Is getting a tooth chip off a water fountain. A, a, T, a TC. A TC? Oh, yeah. You get a TC on a, yeah, on TC a WF. Off a WF? Yeah. Oh, you got to be careful, man. You don't want to get a TC on a WF. <laughs> oh. By the way, my wife's a teacher. Every time she explains something to me, she'll be telling me a story, and I'm a great husband, so I'm going to be listening intently, mm-hmm. and just mesmerized by her beauty. <laughs> but she will. As you're do- blowing the head off a badger in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the varmint rifle, because I want to get a, a three star pelt. Right. Exactly. You got to trade that in for $40. Absolutely. I, well, I got a big shipment. I got to help with Crips. Crips has been up my ass about it. <laughs> no, the Crips and Red, Bull, Red, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, I'm part of a gang. Uh, I'm part of the I'm part of the Crips, right? And we fight the Bloods. Mm-hmm. Uh, people, your horse has neon underneath it. Yeah, uh, the but yeah, no, she'll she'll tell me a story about school, and it'll just the acronyms are ridiculous. Like what? She just like oh, you took the C J K, and then these kids they can't even get an independent I D W. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm I'm over here giving uh, you know number one H J S. And I'm like, well, number one, HJ. That was always mine. It's it's OTP HJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over, over the pantan pant- pant- job. Over the pantan yeah. job, yeah. Uh, on, I love an OTP BJ, mm-hmm. honestly. Uh, on, Just sucking my dick through jeans. Yeah. On the yeah. potty homework? Yeah, on the potty homework. That's homework, homework you do on the toilet. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, you guys ever shoot a load into a toilet? No. Oh, you should try. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little cigar box I keep by my bed, and that's where all my loads go. Oh, you put all your loads in the cigar in a cigar box for safekeeping. Yeah. I've I've been coming in the trunk of my car <laughs> for for twelve years. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're at you're you're behind an Italian restaurant in Goodfellas, and you're like, mm. come here, take a take a look at the trunk. Mm. Why is your car smell so dusty? Hey, come on, come on, and then you pop like you pop the hood. And then it's just glowing like Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, Jesus Christ, is that all you'll come? He's like, I got, I hope so. <laughs> and they're like, Jesus Christ. But then and I then reach somebody- into the cum and I pull out a dead body of some guy <laughs> that it's I have killed. It's dissolving in the cum? <laughs> yeah. See, the little, uh, his science behind these the little sperm and showers. <laughs> they're looking yeah, for an yeah, egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the thing is, they want to impregnate an egg. So what they do is whatever thing they come in contact with, they just burrow into that motherfucker. So... <laughs> <laughs> Over time, these uh, spermatozoans in my cum, my jism, uh, they're just gonna burrow this guy to pieces, <laughs> and then I just uh, I pour it in a, in a, in the sewers in Wuhan, <laughs> and then they use that as oil in their restaurants, and which then, is factually true. And then Tony puts you in a headlight and gives you a noogie. Mm-hmm. But you done good, kid. 
You done good. You popped your cherry. You start crying immediately. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You have seen those videos of in like Wuhan them making gutter oil food, right? No, what the fuck? Have you not seen this? What do you mean gutter oil? This sounds. It's like- this term in China. This is a real thing. It's. It makes me sound racist, but it's very, very. Yeah, true. I was gonna say this sounds very racist. But it's a, it's a real thing that. Um, Wait a second, people. Non whites are the best. Okay, <laughs> and there's anything that's true that's negative is not true. Right. All yeah. Right? It's just. There's definitely no reason the global pandemic virus started in China. <laughs> Yeah, notoriously very clean country. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> like this even as a bit. But continue. <laughs> you don't want to talk about the Chinese virus? Uh, no, no, no. So, uh, gutter. No, there's oil. this real thing called gutter oil where restaurants. Damn darn gutter oils. <laughs> All right, keep going. These restaurants in China will run out of like fats and oil to cook shit in in their big walks. Is this is a real thing. I've seen video of it. They will scoop shit out of the gutters. In the mainland, like streets of China, Jesus. and they will uh, like fry it off, like to uh, cook off the shit, and they will take the oil, skim it off the top. What? Of the shitty gutter water, and then they will use that to cut. I swear to God, it's a real thing. How do you? It so is a real, real, the, real thing. So the motor oil is like a way to cook gutter oil, gutter oil. But like, the, like what's in the gutter though? It's like motor oil. Uh, so gasoline. it's 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 human feces My that has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin's down there like it, just in shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all suck down here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a red balloon, but it doesn't float anymore. Yeah, it's just yeah. hanging limp. <laughs> no, because the human feces has fats and oils from the food in it, so they will cook that off and use that oil and fat to cook food. So does everybody have sepsis in the entire country? I don't. I don't fucking know. I just know it's. I, I saw like this fucking ABC uh, news report on it. It was. It was wild. Just some white chick comes in and is like, "This is delicious." Right, Gwyneth Paltrow. What is this? Gwyneth Paltrow and Contagion is like, eating. Oh, there. it's ancient the Chinese <laughs> secret. <laughs> uh, eat the, the human. Yeah, but it's a. It's a. It's a very real thing. It was that's, ABC's news was like reporting on it. Well, that's just a classic. <laughs> the racism of ABC news. Right. Yeah, uh, racist racism against white people. Yeah, always be clapping. That's mm-hmm. what ABC stands for. <laughs> always be clapping. Always back. be clap backing. Yeah, always be clap back. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. the ABC logo is just two yellow hands doing the <laughs> clap emoji. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's offensive to to name a network after something a minorities can can't spell. Okay, you, all right. Did you know that when okay Ab- <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Did you know when uh, Abraham Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address, mm-hmm. he clapped on every syllable. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> he goes four score <laughs> and seven years ago, <laughs> our forefathers. <laughs> and mothers. Yeah. It's a he has big hoop earrings. <laughs> but looks just like Abraham Lincoln. Abigail Lincoln. Right. Four inch nails. Yeah. Four score and seven genders ago. <laughs> all four they thems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, good shit. Oh my God. Dude. Time doesn't exist anymore. We just measure time now by when a new gender is discovered. Right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like BC AD. Yeah. Mm. It's AP after Polly. Yeah. Before cock. <laughs> right. After Polly. After yeah. Mm-hmm. Before cock, after dick. Yeah, exactly. Every uh, every year lasts like four seconds now. <laughs> because there's a, there's a billion genders. That's right. There are more genders than grains of sand yeah, in there's all like, the beaches there's in like, the universe. There's like grants being given to scientists just to discover new genders. <laughs> yeah, like, you, that's what all the research You remember the uh, the human genome project where they were trying to map every single um, <laughs> protein yeah. in the DNA structure? Yeah. Somebody's doing that, but just for all the genders that exist. Yeah, yeah. It's taken them 18 years. <laughs> every time a bell rings... <laughs> An angel gets a new gender. <laughs> An angel gets its pronouns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, now we're cooking with gutter oil. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Now we're cooking with human shit oil. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, we're all gonna die, so that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Are you drinking my pee? <laughs> Are you, Are you drinking, my pee? drinking my pee? So I'm the only one quick. <laughs> it's a good bit. It's a very good bit. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I don't- What if Trump becomes a mass shooter? Dude, well, you know what? You know what's funny is I was. He's thinking, the first president that might become a mass shooter. I would. I would be the best. I could do it. I definitely could. Listen, is, is I make Columbine look like a fucking joke. All right, we all know that. Fucking amateurs, the pipe bombs. Stephen Paddock. Stephen Paddock came to me before he did the shooting. He goes, Trump. I know you're a much better shooter than me. They say you're the best shooter around. You have pinpoint accuracy. You know how to make pipe bombs. You're you're really cool. You can play Ace of Base, the whole bass line, really good. <laughs> Trump, you're cool as shit. Yeah, Stephen Paddock had me write his manifesto, actually. <laughs> you should have seen it before I got my hands on it. It the, was absolute trash. The Unabomber used to read um, The Art of the Deal before he would mail pop by him out. <laughs> Baseline from Ace of Yeah, Trump is just a 14-year-old school shooter <gasps> kid. Yeah, He's listening to I, Sh- I Saw the Sign. As he's <laughs> yeah. shooting it up. And Marilyn Manson. Yeah. I saw the sign. sign. And it opened up my eyes. Oh, my God. No, I was literally thinking today, not to get like too politically serious but it is you guys know what a bump stack <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a bump stack before the, the thing is that the range the bullets tumble so they just tear they tear it's through it, the flesh it's it's the best mm-hmm. i actually I actually shoot better drunk <laughs> <laughs> i shoot better a couple like four or five whiskeys deep and because then, then i can't really feel the bump stock it doesn't really hurt my shoulder that bad <laughs> and then i can really just let round spray right. into the crowd the the thing, i'm so good drop. at i'm so good at drunk driving trump says that during a speech <laughs> This is like I've been no I've been told I'm one of the best drunk drivers of all time. No, seriously, seriously. Downtown Manhattan rush hour blitzed out of my mind, getting my dick sucked. <laughs> I got it from forty fourth and fifth to eighty fifth and ninth in five minutes, I swear to God. I'm amazing. I'm the best. <laughs> Holy shit. I was just saying it is kind of funny that like like Trump got elected in twenty sixteen and then a lot of people were like, Well, really, what's the worst that could happen? Like he's gonna He's not going to be invested. Nothing's going to happen. And now there's a very real chance that America won't exist anymore. Like well, that very much could happen. I mean, what? How many cases are in America now? Uh, fucking like fucking 40,000, dog. We're like number three right now behind Spain and Italy. And be- if we if we don't, if we stop quarantining, which seems like we're going to do, it's going to get. We're going to world though, meters, boys. The 40, best website. 422,000. Wow! By the way, it was like I think ten thousand, maybe five days ago, something like that. No, that, that, yeah. I'm looking at global right now. Let's not get okay. Out of hand. Global, there's four hundred twenty thousand tight, and yeah, nineteen thousand deaths. So let's view by country real quick. Oh, Which so is, USA is moving up the ranks. Yeah, we're third with fifty four thousand. Yeah. Holy shit! Mm-hmm. How many total deaths? Seven hundred eighty two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> We're number one. We're number one. <laughs> Do you believe in miracles? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, we're gonna have as many as China soon. Oh, we're gonna have we're gonna have the most. We're gonna be the world leader in the coronavirus. I ain't because doing we nothing. are the, we're the least equipped to deal with a shutdown. Dude, Spain is fucked right now. Look at how many deaths they have. Spain is very fucked, but their numbers are starting to go down because they can do a full quarantine. Italy's mm-hmm. numbers are also. They're still fucked, but they're finally starting to go down a little bit. So Damn, they've had well, seven. We're going. Deaths. Apparently, we're going back to work on Easter because the American economy just can't withstand. Like capitalism can't withstand an event like this. It just can't. Yeah. Like the literally, money won't mean anything anymore. So we have to go back to work, and we literally just decided, okay, well, uh, some old people got to die. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's our only answer to the my, thing. My wife is off until May. With her schools. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing is like Trump's saying by Easter, but that also doesn't, you can't like overrule um, state governments in that issue. So California's like shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Till the 19th. So, but it's, there's it's like 37, 37 states that are still not shut down. They've been just acting um, as, as normal. I ain't washing my hands for nobody. <laughs> Dude, think, <laughs> dude, I will say, think of how many lives the coronavirus has saved in terms of. Uh, no more mass shootings this year at schools. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, huh. that's a good point. You know, there's a guy out there that's got the corona. He he's confirmed. He's caught. He, all his wife's going now. Theo, Theo, you shouldn't go. You shouldn't go to work, honey. I ain't missed a day of work in my life, honey. It's truck month. You think <laughs> I'm going to stay inside during truck month? Neo Nazis are trying to weaponize the coronavirus. Yeah, no, that is a real thing. There was a guy in France too who got it and then just like went to bars knowing he had the coronavirus. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Just what fucking. Kind of, what kind of bars? Virus school shooter. 
Gay wow. bars, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to read it or? White supremacists are using an encrypted messaging app called Telegram to devise schemes with the intent of weaponizing the coronavirus to target law enforcement agents and non-white people, according to a report by Yahoo News. Oh, Yahoo News. Very credible. Um, according to a law enforcement weekly intelligence brief, federal investigators appear to be monitoring neo-Nazis conversations on Telegram where plans of weaponizing items such as spray bottles with infected saliva were discussed. According to my buddy's friend, Daryl, this is <laughs> happening now. <laughs> right. It's two 14-year-olds on Xbox Live are saying this. I would yes. say there's got to be some sick people that have it and are trying to give it to people, though. Oh, no, for sure. That's been documented. But, like but that guy oh, really? Bro. People have been getting Yeah, caught. there was. I just said it. There's a guy in France who knowingly had it and went to a bunch of bars over the weekend. Oh, I thought you were saying he was a Nazi, though. No, I mean, he might be a Nazi. I don't know his personal history. But, yeah, some people are doing that. But it is funny how people are trying to push identity politics onto yeah, a pandemic. Like, fuck off. Yeah. So it's insane. Why would someone want to give people Corona? Because I mean, why would somebody want to shoot up a school? White privilege, bro. <laughs> yeah. White privilege. White privilege. Dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's in our uh, DNA to give viruses to non whites. Do, right. do kids think like it's cool to have the coronavirus? I don't think so. I do. Uh, they probably think it's badass, don't they? I do think some people do kind of almost want to get diagnosed so they can be one of the first people to post about it on Facebook. Just mm. a stupid whore. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh, you're bad. Mm -hmm. You're bad. I do. Like, baby, I got the coronavirus. Like, oh, my God, you're I, bad. I do have one friend back home. You're bad boy. And one, <laughs> one of my friends back home, his friend got the coronavirus like two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and he lives in West Hollywood. He's an actor. I don't know the guy, but if you go to his Facebook, it is it is a truly a nightmare. <clears throat> Just daily post about how the coronavirus is vicious and we all need to be protected, and then a like selfie of him with like blowjob lips out. And then he's plugging all the press that he's done. He's like, hey, guys, I'll be on ABC 7 tonight. Mm. He's, got, he's, he's posting like headshot photos with how he has the coronavirus. That sucks. It's very, yeah, it's very sick. Yeah. You uh, know, there's going to be like PTSD support groups for people that were heavily affected by the pandemic, like after this is all said and done. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like people going to support groups and like a lot of people will start lying and yeah. say that they had it and they lived through it. Right. And that they almost died. Like, just like when 9 11 happened, there were yeah. some women, not men that I can remember, but yeah. there were some women. <laughs> There was one woman, Jace, who went on the news all the time who said she was like in the fucking tower. Yeah. When like the plane hit. Yeah, She's Steve Ran is easy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who did that shit. Ran as easy as ass away from the tower. I, mean, <laughs> I wonder, <laughs> you kind of want the economy and everything to collapse just so there's not a bunch of annoying people after this is all said and done. I mean, what do you mean? What in the fact that they all died and there's like 40 people left on Earth? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, I, no mean, I could just see it now like support groups in Silver Lake for people who are like, yeah, I had to up my medication dose because of the pandemic now. And sure. it really like upset me. Right. To be fair, all those people will be killed on day one of the apocalypse. <laughs> but yeah, no, I get what I get what you mean. Yeah, like those people will be shot and people will steal their Whole Foods 365 bag of rice that they had. Yeah, the, all the people that are just like they put it in other people's hands to be nice. Mm hmm. They're like, you're being an asshole right now. All and right. the guy's got an AK and he's like, give me your fucking rice. <laughs> <laughs> give me all your goddamn rice yeah. and your boiled water. <laughs> it's like, you are such a fucking jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till my dad hears about I am, this. I'm canceling your ass mm -hmm. so stabbed fast. In the, stabbed in the belly. <laughs> yeah. They're just on Facebook talking about a zombie that ate their dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the zombie. Nobody hire him. Yeah, <laughs> nobody hired this zombie. He's bad. <laughs> it is. It is very weird that our entire uh, globe is going through like, tr I guess you could call it trauma right now. Because yeah. I've never seen everyone in my life is more stressed than I've ever seen them ever. Oh, I'm getting so good at video games right now. <laughs> this is the perfect time to start an MMORPG. Yeah, massive multiplayer online role playing game. <laughs> Because Preach, Kevin. I'm telling you, dude, if you're going to invest 
you know, 10,000 hours, <laughs> if you're lucky. Animal Crossing, <laughs> baby. Get the new Animal Crossing. Get into it. Whatever you, I mean, throw, the time is nothing. Right. Hey, Kevin, you have nothing left to do. Craft some badass items in World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Figure out how to down Ragnaros <laughs> solo. Mm-hmm. Why not? You know what I mean? Because uh, people, I, I, you know, you got to put your passions into something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, you, what are you going to try to find a job or something? Like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to try to figure out how to be a productive member of society nope. while I'm quarantined. Fuck you. Think, a, think again, <laughs> dumb fuck. Yeah. Red Dead Online is going to finally have the new patch that's going to fix all their connection problems. Right. And where are you going to be? Trying to start a business? <laughs> you're not going to do fucking shit with your free time, dumb fuck. Yeah. yeah you on. listening right now? Shit eater. You're not going to learn to play the fucking piano during the pandemic you dumb fuck yeah you're not yeah. gonna read a book bitch you're gonna sit on the couch and yeah you're, and you're, you're gonna, gonna watch tiger king until you shit yeah. yourself and then you're gonna go you're gonna go <laughs> jack off to underage girls on instagram well yeah, yeah well. Oh, well okay that took a turn <laughs> uh what i say? fucking creep what i say <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna go jack off to tiktok teens <laughs> By the way, TikTok, I'll tell you what, some real hotties on there. Oh, yeah, but they're all 14, Kevin. I call it dick cock. (laughs) I do hate that uh, TikTok will throw 14-year-olds in a crop top. Yeah, sure. I'm like watching it. I'm just like, I'm just trying to find, you know, special needs kids (laughs) that are having a good time. (laughs) To laugh at. (laughs) No, to support their art. Right, as they they start flossing. (laughs) Yeah, dude, when TikTok first came out, it was all Mm -hmm. SN peeps it was it was <laughs> you know what i mean special needs people it, it it was and i was like hell yeah look at him going after mm-hmm. it that's what there. snl stands for that's special <laughs> needs live oh that's and now for new york <laughs> just so that he shits himself on live tv <laughs> with his eyes crossed <laughs> will forget <laughs> The Black Eyed Peas <laughs> and your host, Aaliyah Shawkat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, uh, geez. Yeah. Whatever. We're oh. in a pandemic. We're all going to die. Yeah. It's crazy, man. I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, hold on. I just closed my eyes. I felt no, so that's good. that's cool. Like, yeah. I'm, I, I kind of am like upset that I haven't been fired yet, honestly, because I know, I know I'm getting fired in three weeks, like for sure get fired up about it but now it's just like i have to like fucking pretend to work until i actually get fired so well every day i wake up i'm like is today the day they call me and fire me yeah you just call people like hey jace from blah blah alarm uh so uh is the coronavirus over do you want to buy an alarm (laughs) uh yeah i wonder if how crime's doing i wonder like i think like a lot of stuff's good i don't think here's the thing i think the alarm industry will you can make a lot of money in it but Crime hasn't gone up yet because I don't think people have quite yet run out of money. But yeah. I think crime has gone way, way the fuck up. So really, who fucking knows? I mean, I, yeah, I, I, fucking... ha- I haven't looked at it. I have no idea. I I'm will... assuming that it's going to go up. I mean, a fourth of the country is going to be unemployed. The great toilet paper heist of 2020. <laughs> I, I will say that this we're, is... we're entering a depression, you know? Well, I've been in it for a while. But <laughs> well, tell me about it, brother. Tell you, brother. The Ooh. country is entered its Joker phase. I feel like I've never felt better in my whole life, though. You know really? I mean? Yeah, it's just like because I can stay home and be a piece of shit, and I and people are just and I'm like, what are you gonna do? Right. What I, are you gonna do? I oscillate between that and then I just I keep feeling so fucking. I'll just get in a panic for three to four hours, like once a day. Really? And it'll just like drive me fucking crazy, man. Have you tried jerking it into a toilet? I mean, that's what, and <laughs> <laughs> you put googly eyes in your toilet. So it looks like a sexy lady. Oh, is that googly, what a sexy lady? Googly like? eyes in a big blonde wig on the back of the toilet. <laughs> and you go, you fucking whore. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like uh, that guy. Uh, shit. I can't remember his name from reservoir dogs and he's got uh, steve buscemi steve buscemi yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, steve buscemi just gets my fucking blood pumping to my meat oh magnet. yeah dude like i'm oh, not yeah. gay at all but steve buscemi oh, yeah, fuck yeah. Him. he makes me buscemi you know what i mean in my boots. Steve, steve but fuck me <laughs> now it that's does, right it does it, it okay I, i'll give it to you you know what in his breakout role in fart go yes <laughs> Great role, man! I hate fart I hate, blow. I hate Earth. 
<laughs> I hate I hate Earth. Yeah, but I'll get like a panic, not a panic attack, but I'll get a real anxiety attack for like th- two to three hours, like yeah. once a day, and then it feels like I'm walking around in a fucking dream, man. Oh, does it help things though? When what? <laughs> this is like the asshole. Oh you, yeah, you, you go to an asshole with your problems, right? I keep having panic attack. Oh, is that helping? It's like if my is that da- solving the problem. If my dad was a therapist, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is the, are those panic attacks they make the coronavirus you're gonna go cry away? you're gonna cry in therapy i wonder if the crying is gonna help <laughs> i wonder if you crying will help anything probably not yeah but i don't know it feels like i'm in vanilla sky it or feels something. like the simulation broke or it something. really does yeah not to be a fucking joe rogan guy but it feels like we're in a in a video game and the there's a just the code is like broken i go for a vanilla guy right now you know what i mean <sighs> actually oh, honestly i love some fucking vanilla ice cream some vanilla bean vanilla bean we got some vanilla ice cream straight from chinatown if you want it <laughs> really yeah it's got a bat in the middle of it <laughs> <laughs> bro i went to chinatown two days ago yeah smart move i don't give a fuck <laughs> i'll give a fuck i gotta get my kung pai chicken in my lo mein <laughs> oh yeah yeah fuck them fuck hell yeah fuck fuck that corona dude i i uh fuck that dude yeah uh hashtag corona is over party <laughs> dude i i shared a, i i rolled a blunt shared a j with uh sing do chow the other day sing do chow, sing do chow. my best friend okay my best friend sing do chow sing do chow yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i smoked a blunt with the president of china yeah mm-hmm. goes, oh. xi ping or whatever he goes, oh you keep in the world lipping in that blunt <laughs> <laughs> okay. go, hey 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 uh, sing do okay chow. okay you're talking down to him okay hey don't talk like that yeah i uh if i couldn't say it i don't have a right privilege yeah, i just can't um can't say it i just smoked <laughs> <laughs> no. can't say the word no nope. mm-hmm. just could you use the president of china <laughs> um, you can hint about saying it on the podcast a little bit but sometimes it's too much i reckon mm-hmm. and, yeah my record dude, ben it, goes too far but he, he, he's kind of retarded <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of me mm-hmm. in five years when the people are still racist against chinese people for the coronavirus right i'm just gonna put a video out of me just rolling blunts and smoking <laughs> weed with chinese people people being like hell yeah my eyes are squinty too now yeah you're the new gary v yeah. <laughs> on instagram <laughs> dude everyone's still eating italian food though that is a good point yeah yeah no Which shows that nice people marinara. just hate the chinese a very good point well, I, I don't <laughs> 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 no we had uh we had some uh some pot stickers the other day watch your mouth <laughs> <laughs> my wife made them they were delicious yeah my Ugh. wife uh literally was like they keep sticking to the pot i was just like all right i go ha 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 good joke and she's like what <laughs> she did not get it but she li- this literally happened mm-hmm. they keep sticking to the pot and, and then I'm you, like, hit, you hit her in the back of the head yeah yeah <laughs> I, you go, keep, your, lo- keep your fucking mouth shut kevin picked up a louisville slugger <laughs> and like and like swung and hit all the pans and pots off of the stove yeah and you stuck the louisville slugger in her face you're like i'm the fucking comedian in this house <laughs> you stupid bitch that's right yeah, it's like raging bull <laughs> yeah yeah you go to bed you go you fuck my wife fuck. you fuck my wife i bet you did <laughs> i am your wife throwing a plate of spaghetti against the wall yeah Yeah. raging bull was about a guy that was getting cucked right (laughs) that's that's right yep Mm -hmm. yeah he was the bull Mm -hmm. that's how you see if your spaghetti's ready you throw the whole pot against the wall (laughs) and you scream at your wife and if the spaghetti all falls to the floor before you're done screaming at your wife you know it's not done not ready (laughs) it's not ready (laughs) (laughs) that would be really funny uh oh man talk about let's make a tiktok (laughs) A dick doc. <laughs> yeah, it is also funny to watch everybody lose their minds on yeah. Instagram right now. The amount of comedians and people mm-hmm. we know going live for, all the time. For some of us yeah. lucky ones, we had already lost our minds. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. this pandemic uh, it ain't really that hard. It's for, like for we us. we're watching everybody. Yeah. We just can we. We completed level one of the video game, which is called the Joker phase, mm-hmm. and we're watching everybody start that game. Yeah, because yeah. people are like, people are like, oh, life doesn't feel like normal now, and it's like life never felt normal what was yeah it what always, was fucking normal it always felt weird yeah jobs felt weird money felt weird yeah, yeah. everything it, felt fake yeah. yeah i just do i just go live i go instagram live and i just follow my wife around and zoom in on her ass. <laughs> nice. go, look at that peach right there that's you zoom in on the crack in her pussy through the jeans i wish man 
My wife got her pussy sewn up after. Uh, child. Damn, I'm sorry, man. I know. That sucks. I had to do a hysterectomy. Yeah. So her, is her pussy all weird now? <laughs> a pussyotomy? Yeah, they had to do a pussyotomy. <laughs> Did they uh, close it up smaller? No, it's gone. Completely gone. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she doesn't have a pussy. No, no, no. no. <laughs> she has to piss out of. Mm-hmm. She just pisses through her skin. <laughs> <laughs> Like like a tea bag. <laughs> she has to sweat. If she has to pee real bad, she just goes and runs on a treadmill. Uh, <laughs> she just pisses out of her nipples. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's good shit, dude. Uh, she goes, "Ooh, my my boobs are sore. They're so full of piss." <laughs> <laughs> I wonder like, if you could reroute good, the tu- the tubes to piss out of your nipples. And then your breast milk comes out of your pussy. You should tweet that at Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> you really ought to. Yeah. Dr. Drew. Interesting that you would think a woman can piss out of her nipples, yet the universe is only 2.5 billion years old. Long time And I'm listening. gay. <laughs> and everyone hates my ass because I suck. Dr. Drew, long time listener, first time caller. Could you piss out of your nipples? You know, I've been asked this question a lot, and I want to put the you know the nail in the coffin on this. A hundred percent, you can piss out of your nipples, dude. That's me, Doctor Drew. Doctor Drew, uh, Doctor Goo, <laughs> um, uh, Doctor Drew. Uh, ben, have you? Uh, so you you're uh, you you produce a lot of podcasts. Are, are, are people? What are people doing? Um. Uh, what do you mean? Like, are people flipping out? Because I know you started one with, uh, oh, with a couple you, of different. You mean? Oh, you mean like? Well, oh yeah, because you haven't had contact with the world. You've just been quarantining, and I've been going out somewhat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Every day, most people, <laughs> and I don't know if you've been to the grocery store. Uh, some I send pe- my wife. Some people are acting like nothing is going on. Yeah. Yes, and some people are acting like the sky is falling. Beautiful yes. day. <laughs> yeah like all my coworkers are like hardcore republicans like they're guys in their mid 40s to like early 50s and they legitimately i i think i told you this i was freaking out about it last week and i go the whole fucking thing's gonna get shut down like we're not gonna have jobs i was telling them this and they literally called me woody allen they just called me a jew because i was they called you woody allen? they called me woody allen because i was nervous about the fucking global pandemic, the coronavirus. Oh, that's and funny. They called me an idiot, and then on Friday they like had to fire six people because the entire government like shut down. Holy shit! Is that true? They really had to fire. Six they people? had to fire some people. Yeah, I'm, pro- I'm. No, I'm probably getting fired within the month. That's my. That's Man. my guess. Yeah. See, I was ahead of the. Unless curve on I can this sell one. some shit, which I don't. <laughs> I beat you too, dude. See, yeah, I, you're an iconoclast, dude. Yeah, it's like you guys are fucking around with jobs and shit. I knew what it was up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, uh, man. So I'm I, just going to deliver weed or something. I don't fucking know. I'm going to rob people for money. Who I, knows? Hey, can I can I be serious for a second? Yeah. You got to start selling pictures of that hog ear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, look. This is the perfect time to start your your business. Mm-hmm. Hog picks with Jake. If, the, if if there's anything women are in demand of, it's more dick picks. I mean, you don't have to be gay to sell your pictures of your dick, to right, dudes? Hey, it just helps. Real talk, though. If if all of us individually signed up for an OnlyFans, yeah, okay, yeah. Who do you think? And okay, oh, so like whoever the two people that lose get shot and killed, right? So you're trying your hardest to make the most amount of money on OnlyFans in one month. Yeah. Out of all three of us, who do you think would make the most money on OnlyFans? What is fans? OnlyFans, first off? It's where ladies post pictures of their pussies and you can pay like three or four dollars yeah, to see the It's pussy. like private. It's for like Instagram influencers who are like kind of porn people, but they just mm. have their own private porn site. You pay and you get sent like videos of them jerking off or getting fucked it, and stuff like it's that. It's Patreon for pictures of pussies. Right. Yeah. How much would it cost? I'm, I actually, I'm, I'm subscribed to Ruth Bader Ginsburg's OnlyFans. <laughs> I want a picture of Jace. You cradle like a, you know, how, like you look down at a baby is cradled in your arms, mm-hmm. but it's just your cock. Okay, I can do that. How, yeah. I let, real talk. You mean like you want a nativity scene of me and my penis? Oh my god! In you're, the manger, you're the Mother Mary, and <laughs> right. then your cock is in the manger, mm-hmm. and then everything else is just ceramic versions. Oh, that's this is good. Mm-hmm. We could Photoshop. We could make this happen. Uh, Ma- Mary Magdalene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like, Mary Magdalene. Mary the mother of Jesus. Mary, Mary the mother of Jesus <laughs> is what is, is the fuck. Mary, the, Mary the mother of Jesus is Liberace. Yeah, yeah. And the 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 three wise men 
are I'm trying to think of three gay guys. The three wise men: Trump, it, Alex Jones, no, and Ben Shapiro. No, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to make Jason a gay guy. <laughs> All right, give him time. Give him time. Hold on. It's uh, he's trying to think of a second Bruce gay Valanche. person. It's Bruce Valanche. Okay, I love, I love Bruce. Valanche. It's uh, John Travolta. Can I say the only gay? <laughs> the only gay people you know are gay people from forty years ago. <laughs> you have no yeah. finger on the pulse of the gay community whatsoever. Um, so did you hear that guy was putting hamsters in his head? <laughs> What? Richard Gear? <laughs> oh, he, oh, ju- and, and, he just yeah, heard yeah. about Richard Gear. <laughs> yeah, from the eighties. It's like what the hell? <laughs> and the the third wise man is Eddie Murphy. Okay, and they all bring you gifts of that are just v- insanely gay things. Okay, such as such as um, frankincense l- and myrrh. It's like lube. Okay, which is gay, right? Mesh tank tops. <laughs> Straight guys don't use lube. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say frankincense, myrrh, and gold is is pretty flamboyant already. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's I, too, like, too perfect. <laughs> we followed the North Star, <laughs> but I'm the real star. Liberace's here, everybody. Jesus. I'm with Bruce Valanche and Eddie Murphy. And uh, we also have my limo driver. He's shivering in the corner <laughs> because I butchered his face. <laughs> I got you some potpourri for when it starts smelling real shitty here in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all these farm animals in here. I'm going to fuck them. Oh, my God. I'm going to suck this goat's dick. <laughs> Can you suck a goat's I wanna, dick? I want to suck this goat's you dick know what? off. Where there's a will, there's a way, Kevin. That's, my, that's why my, I named my, my son Will. My granddaddy always told me that. Yeah, um, Honey, let me tell you something. If we weren't supposed to fuck goats, then why'd they put those horns there for us to grab onto? <laughs> <laughs> You're Paul Lynn now? <laughs> 70s game show honey. star Paul Lynn. Oh, oh, honey, I'm on an all right podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, honey, well, I didn't meet Alex Jones. I fucked him. Uh, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. The Jews fabulous. control the weather. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Paul Lynn. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, sweetie. I'm going to go get coronavirus and then infect some rabbis Listen, out of the synagogue. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag, but I'm a little bit, you know, because of all the fluoride in the water. <laughs> <laughs> a little light in the loafers because of the fluoride. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yep. So that's um, probably the last thing we'll say before we all die. The <laughs> white man marches on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I honestly, yeah. I honestly, yeah, feel pretty good. You do? I uh, actually in this whole situation, the I apocalypse, am psychologically feeling pretty good. Do you think we can't get canceled anymore, Kevin? I know Pe- people realize how life was just teetering on a fucking thread. Yes, yeah, yeah. all yeah. could just collapse at any moment. By the way, our numbers have gone through the fucking roof. This is the best thing that ever happened. We're to getting us. five downloads an episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. We, before it was one guy listened for thirty seconds, mm-hmm. and then he shuts it off. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm listening to. There's, <laughs> there's no introduction. They don't explain what the fuck is happening. It takes them twenty minutes to introduce the podcast. Mm-hmm. Everything's gay and has a dick that gets sucked. These guys are dumb. <laughs> These guys are dumb, and they don't. They're just honestly, they're homophobic. <laughs> they're homophobic, and they're they're anti progressive. Is mm-hmm. what they are. Mm-hmm. Facts. Oh. Anti progressive is that a term? I mean, do I, people say shit like that? Yeah, anti progressive. I yeah. do when I'm doing that character. Yeah, <laughs> these guys hate progress. They yeah. Hate. Do you think? And here, here's a real thing because I I alternate between feeling really good and then kind of having a short panic attack. Is do you think it's that everybody has finally their hat? You were depressed in a world of seemingly happy people. Yeah. And now you're depressed in a world of depressed people, and all of a sudden it's like, well, I'm even. So it's almost like you not feeling you not have you don't have to feel bad about feeling bad anymore because you should feel bad. I I don't I don't think that's what it is. I literally am hmm. just it's when there then turn his microphone off. The, well, <laughs> there is a there has been in the past a constant pressure that you should be doing more. Right. Like uh, and not to get uh, you know, but this is that my spiritual side comes out. You know what I mean? I get a lot of crystals and. <laughs> 
Uh, there's a lot of like just like the the Lord's given you know, the Lord blessed you with some gifts mm-hmm. and you're just sitting on them. You're sitting on your talents and you're not doing. You could be doing more and right. you're not doing it and you're a piece of shit because of it. Mm-hmm. And and I always say that about you. <clears throat> yes. And when 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 everybody's like literally like you know the best thing you can do for the whole world mm-hmm. is really level up your World of Warcraft warlock right now. <laughs> That's what we need. Honestly, what a great American. Okay, dude, it's true. Like, what makes you depressed? Rest is just doing stuff. Yes. Doing stuff sucks. Well, Ass. It's the pressure that you're stuff, supposed to rules. be doing stuff. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's almost, have you ever seen the movie Melancholy? I know you love Melancholia. Have you ever seen that? Of course. I love Lars von Trier. But it's kind of like Kristen Dunst's character in that stupid movie where she's depressed the whole time and everybody's like, why is, she so, why is this bitch so fucking sad? Mm-hmm. She's got fat titties and she's just in a bathtub Big all sad. Titties. Big ass titties. Huge. How can weird ass, with the weird ass face. Yeah. Um, she's got a small ass, which I get why she's a little depressed about that. She should yeah, be. Yeah, I get it. Um, but they're like, look at this sad bitch and then the world's some ending. Squats, eat some burgers. Yeah, in the second half of the movie, the world's ending yeah. and then all of a sudden she's like free and everybody's freaking out, but she's like calm. That's where I'm because at. Because she's lived in this world for a long time. I have huge ass titties and a flat ass <laughs> and I feel good. I honestly, I, I'm, right. I'm, I'm not doing a bit. I do mm-hmm. really, I, there is a weight has been lifted right. of everybody, just like me li- being alive. You grew up in a dark cave and you walked out into the earth and you felt bad because you didn't like the sun and yeah. all of a sudden the sun went out and yeah. everybody's freaking out but you love the dark i'm like it's just like being home right you know what i mean it's like i'm, I'm back it's to like my a mother's warm arm. bath yeah and you know what's interesting too dude at the end of all of this you'll go hmm what did i miss about my old life yeah and probably then, and being then, able to eat food when i wanted to yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, you might go, oh, that thing I was doing. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't actually miss that at all. I don't like uh, doing that. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to go there. Well, I'm not going to. I think a big thing is like trying. What I'm or trying with to re- friends too. You go, I'm not going to hang out with that. I didn't miss yeah. that guy at all. Well, I actually miss a lot of my well, friends. Uh, yeah, or that lady. That's different. are you talking about your wife? Yeah, <laughs> I I do miss. Uh, I th- I literally was the idea. There's a couple of guys that I you know see. Uh, Brendan Cooney, shout out to Brendan Cooney. Nice, yeah, uh, very I, funny. I, I I see that guy all the time at Mike's and at shows and stuff. And it's like I we haven't had a ton of conversations, but we have a mutual respect for one another. At least I respect him. And right. uh, that's not what I've heard from him. But continue. Yeah, well, please okay, go on. It's a mutually assured destruction. <laughs> and uh, but you know, like there's guys like that. That I don't see Chris uh, Chris Estrada, um, you know, uh, just different guys that I see regularly. Mm-hmm. Even like Matt, even like Matt Lockwood, you know, like guys that I would see all the time, right? And I haven't seen him in like two weeks, mm-hmm. and it's weird. Uh, but it's like I, I miss the shit out of him. I miss the shit out of seeing. I want to see. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, a couple of people I can't name. You know, some what uh, my friend Evan the Castman Cassidy would call bumblers. Okay, there's it's some, yeah, it's, some bumblers I miss. You know what's funny? It's kind of like the whole world graduated high school again. Yeah, yeah, and it, we're just all gone away for the summer. Yeah. we're all stuck at our parents' house in that town in that in the shitty town. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I mean, we're not seeing each other anymore. I'm, in, I'm, you know, I'm really investing on online gamer currency. <laughs> Right yeah. now, that's yeah, yeah. That's really gonna get you through. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption, <laughs> rough times. Uh, Red Dead Online Gold Bars. <laughs> are gonna, it's gonna be like the what new, if the, new stock that market. does replace the the U.S. dollar? Yeah, yeah is it. Red Red Dead Redemption dollars? Yeah, so, yeah. Somebody's holding me at knife point, going transfer it to my account. <laughs> transfer. It. I got some trader missions I need to do. do yeah. You, do you want to go half in on a Nintendo Switch, Kevin? Jace won't do it with me, and I want to play. Animal I don't play Crossing. video games. No, I want you to play some games with me on the PS4. Okay, but y- all the games that I play, it takes ten thousand hours to invest. You got to be a real expert uh, before the game stops working. Just play Sonic the Hedgehog with me. I'm not playing Sonic. Th- that game sucks. By the way, uh, if you're a PlayStation Plus member, uh, which we are sponsored by, uh, <laughs> there the new Sonic. There was a Sonic game that was released. And I was stoked because I was like, oh, I can play this with my kids or whatever. Yeah. It fucking sucks. The it new sucks. Sonic game? Did yeah. Did he not go fast enough? No, he didn't even go fast enough. He's not gay. <laughs> he's straight. He's got a girlfriend in it. It's, he's, it's heteronormative. He's, he's not. You wanted Sonic to be differently able. You're mad yes. that Sonic has a girlfriend. Right. He's, it, you Sonic, break the controller. <laughs> Sonic has big. 
Sonic has big <laughs> crutches in this version. I, that's why I stopped playing Super Mario. It was heteronormative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was cisgender. It was offensive to Italian people. A hundred percent. And yeah. plumbers. <laughs> you yeah. know? Kevin wanted to rescue Caitlyn Jenner at the end of Super Mario. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why can't why can't <laughs> from Princess- Bruce Jenner? Right. Bruce Jenner's Bowser, Caitlyn Jenner's Peach mm-hmm. <laughs> in yeah. the game. That's right. Peach <laughs> should rescue Mario. That's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Princess Peach. She's like, and oh, Donkey Kong Mario. is Roxanne Gay. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super Mario is AOC's dad. What is she throwing? <laughs> huh? She's just throwing. The- she's throwing her kneecaps at people. <laughs> <laughs> They're the size of barrels. Yeah. Oh man, she's just throwing pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> throwing pronouns down a big stairwell. Mm-hmm. They you made a jump over them. They made a Super Bernie Bros. Did you see the? You can play it online. Wait, is really? That true? Steam. Yeah. Jesus. Bernie Christ. is Mario, and he uh, Trump is Bowser. Right, and then just you lose every level. Even though everybody wants you to win. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. even play the game. You just right. download it. It just says you lost. You're about right. to. Yeah. <laughs> the computer just yeah. corrupts. You're and about dies. you're about to finish the last level and then Hillary just pops up with a sniper rifle and kills you. <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, there's just a coup. Right. There's yeah. yeah. Like a total assassination. Mm-hmm. Attempt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're playing against Joe Biden, who is 80 feet tall in the game. <laughs> All retarded as shit. <laughs> Well, listen here, Jack. I went down to the ice cream fountain. I saw a black guy called him the N word. He gave me a lollipop and I put it up my ass. And that's what I think a good American know how is about. An 80 foot Fuck tall Africa. Joe Biden. <laughs> Just giving a massage to an eight-year-old girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's just crushing. Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. So uh, everything, everything is everything is completely, absolutely just fucked. Everything's and, great. If you want to play uh, some games online with me, uh, Cap. Captain Foot Pain is my uh, mm-hmm. PlayStation and thing. It's ca- you already know what mine is. C A P T uh, C A P T underscore Foot underscore Pain because mm-hmm. I got the gout. Right. Mine's a little easier to remember. Mine's Gay Guy four twenty sixty nine. Yeah. Yes. And you can also my, play with my buddy Bruce, whose my wife died sixty nine four twenty. Well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. He's a copycat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody is. Uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and wrap her up uh, here, like uh, you know, like a. Uh, yeah, we don't have to wrap up. We got like a couple minutes, but yeah. Oh, okay. So we're not going to wrap it up like a... Well, I just wanted to say a Please. thing that has Sorry. been comforting me a little bit, other than getting drunk every night and smoking a lot of weed. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've just become a drug addict. No. Again. J- Jace is drinking non-alcoholic beer and smoking CBD joints. Mm-hmm. Hell and, yeah. and I'm like... He thinks he's tortured. And I'm having a... Pa- <laughs> I'm having a panic attack. He's reading Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> Dude, never more, man. <laughs> never more. I'm like the Raven. Yeah, dude. I'm like, did you ever read Carl Young, man? Listening to the cure and putting on eyeliner. Right. Like you smoke a CBD joint and drink non-alcoholic beer. Dude, I was I was watching this Ram Dass interview the other day and I just thought to myself, I'm so fucked. <laughs> dude, I'm like fucking uh I'm like, you know Cain and Abel? I'm fucking Kane, dude. <laughs> I'm fucked. I, I get so depressed that Werner Herzog just narrates my life now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's beautiful. Yeah. As uh, he puts on the eyeliner. As he takes the chopstick, wipes <laughs> it on his ass. He puts the bamboo chopstick inside of his pee hole <laughs> just to feel something again. <laughs> Um, no, I was going to say one thing that has been uh, helping me, I think, a little bit is I was actually listening to a Ram Dass interview yeah. kind of about chaos. He was talking about it. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the big things he mentioned is um, the resistance to change mm-hmm. and how that would like, you know, the desire for control. Yeah. And how that desire is kind of worse than the actual losing of control mm-hmm. because that's, you know, in, in Buddhism, they say. That is the key to suffering is, you know, the desire for things to not change when they're always changing. Yeah. And so I think that's a thing I've just been trying to focus on is just f- focusing in on like, okay, things are just gone and there's nothing you can do about it. So yeah. just not give up, but just kind of just f- float, man. And whatever happens, if you got to be shooting hobos off an ATV in four months, you know, yeah. we're going to be doing that. Yeah. So. Well, we, we joke around a lot about stuff, but I mean, <clears throat> this is a, a discomforting time for a lot of people. Whatever you have to do to cope, just be proactive with it. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. like, 
uh, reach out. I've been doing a lot of FaceTimes with my, you know, with friends and stuff. A lot of producers around town. <clears throat> a lot of producers. I've been FaceTiming <laughs> with a lot of producers. Just getting my FaceTime. Right. <laughs> you know, just putting in the hours. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, I really have. I've, you know, I FaceTime with some buddies and, you know, everybody's. I mean, <clears throat> the nicest thing about this is like, just like when 9 11 happened, I know you guys were six years old when it happened. <laughs> but, uh, but the world did come together. And there was a, a, a sense of unity because we were all going through something mm-hmm. together. Not maybe not the whole world in 9 11, because, you know, maybe America only. Uh, right. <clears throat> yeah. The world. We really bonded with the, uh, the, the ARAPs mm-hmm. during 9 11. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> don't laugh, because then, uh, then it makes me look good. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but. Uh, no, there is a uh, there is a unity that's happening. You know what I mean? As far as a, a, sh- a shared mutual trauma, I think amongst uh, the people, amongst a lot of people, like yeah. politics or anything like that, it's just fuck politics. Get your human connection and call, reach out, do some Facetime, send an email to mm-hmm. brainjailpod at gmail dot com. Yeah, uh, even the the greeting I say to people now is not to make this the coronavirus episode, but the greeting I say to people now is like if I just see somebody. Like walking, we'll be like, "Hey, what's up? How's it going?" And then like talk for a second, and then we'll be like, "Hey, stay safe out there." Yeah, which is something I would never think I'd be saying to somebody I didn't know. Yeah, is stay safe. Out I would there. say drive safe. Right. <laughs> hey, drive safe out there. All right. Yeah, look both ways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, make you. Hey, make sure you use your blinkers out there. <laughs> no, I mean the. Uh, I did. Uh, I was walking my dog. It was like uh, eleven thirty mm-hmm. in the morning, and I was. Uh, I was hitting my one hitter. Sure. And I was wearing, That's what you call your wife. <laughs> <laughs> one hit and it quit. It. Right. Uh, no, I was, I was hitting my one hitter and the mailman was walking by mm-hmm. and I was wearing the biggest pajama pants that you could ever find. Sure. And just some poo bear slippers. Mm-hmm. And I just said, hey, buddy, good to see you. You know, and he looked at me and, you know, walked away. <laughs> uh, but I mean, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but the world's not going to end, you know, it's, uh, it's not going to end. No, no, unless you're older, you know, a baby or Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're old Chinese baby, you're fucked. Yeah. Watch out. Bobby Lee, you're in trouble. <laughs> you are in big trouble. You old Chinese baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, thanks so much for listening. If you like, what we listen to, please go and leave us a review. Um, send us an email to brainjailpod at gmail.com and we may even read it on the air. Oh my God. Uh, matter of fact, we actually have, uh, we have one, uh, today from, uh, don't our, say his name, our good buddy, uh, chipper kick Papa too. Don't uh, say his fucking name. Dude. Chipper kick pop. <laughs> uh, so it's the, the, so the guy that, uh, he wrote in, uh, about his wife mm-hmm. and we addressed it incorrectly apparently so he says hey addendum don't use my name please <laughs> <laughs> take it easy chip uh hey love the, the last episode but i must apologize i meant my question to come across as more of philosophical uh as in uh as in is it better to separate and be happy to show her what happy is and it's not fair to tether myself uh i'd never be tether myself to a person I'd never be happy with or not actually happy for stability and nor, uh, normalcy, etc. Uh, either way, wasn't asking for advice, but I did appreciate the sincerity. I'll try those bath salts, though. Uh, anyway, I love your show, and you guys are awesome. Uh, really helping with the cabin fever. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, thank you so much, Chip. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to write in to us, um, we also... Uh, well, I'm curious as to uh, what kind of sh- what kind of content you guys enjoy, what what part of the podcast you guys like listening to, and uh, what you like to hear us talk about more. Anything to give us a jumping off point. Like, not every episode can be as brilliant and witty as this one. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Sometimes we'll hit a lull where Ben, you know, starts you know talking about you know the gay Nazis and the apocalypse and the frogs mm-hmm. and fucking a horse, and <clears throat> you know we get a little sidetracked. So if, uh, feel free to send us uh, an email. And uh, I just love the Old Testament, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. And all, all that's in it. Mm-hmm. Gold, jo- gold jo- Testament's what I call it. Yeah, Job, <laughs> where Satan is talking to God, and he goes, uh, and oh, you can fuck my servant Job in the ass with a horse cock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he, he fucking loved Hitler. Uh, <laughs> loved him. Loved him. And uh, he what, likes Job? to dress up like a Pepe and get his cock sucked. Jo- Job does? This is the Old Testament. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Joe. What? Wait, what? 
Kevin was talking about Job, and then you said he likes to dress up like Pepe and get his dick sucked. It was a little out of left field, but you know, I mean, I get it. <laughs> it's fine, you know. I, Kevin said sometimes Ben talks about gay Nazis and frogs and stuff, and I go, I just love the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the bit we were doing. Yeah, no, I like it. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's all about keeping the ball rolling here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Keep my balls rolling. Sure, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's when I put ecstasy on my balls. <laughs> keeping my balls rolling. Uh, and I love to listen to Limp Biscuit. I love <laughs> that's that's really getting me through the day as I listen to break stuff. Hell yeah. And then I flip off our dogs. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I just walk around in a sports bra and my dick out of <laughs> out of my dick hole in my underwear. My kids are screaming and I'm just listening. I listen to a rolling, rolling, rolling on my head on my uh, Apple AirPods. Right. And uh that you stole from the Korean mall. Had to do it. <laughs> had to do it to them. That's what they get for bringing this pandemic right. over to America. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow quick, up. Quick question before yeah, yeah, please. we end. Mm-hmm. Is pedophilia bad in the Bible? In the Bible? In the Old Testament, I would say probably no. <laughs> 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 but in the New Testament, I think there's even... There's I, really nothing about age of consent in the Bible. We we have talked about that, about this before. Is one of the few tracks in the New Testament where it says the man shall not lie with another man. Mm-hmm. Is I remember in Bible school, a guy was teaching us. He was a pedophile. Um, <laughs> no, he was a normal guy. He was weird. I mean, he taught a Bible class. He's probably a pedophile. <laughs> sure, but he taught us about how the original like Greek translation or whatever. A lot of people interpret that to mean is you shall not lay with a child. A man shall not lay with a ma- a male child. Mm. So. So Wait, a why would they just say okay? that? Hmm? Why wouldn't it just say that if that's what it was? No, to from translate they mistranslated from the original Greek because Greek's not like it's not like word to word means you know A to B in the translation. Yeah, I mean I'm a New American Standard kind of guy, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? That direct translation, <laughs> right? I'm a Rick James version. So in, yeah, in the King James version of the Bible, <laughs> which is mm-hmm. bullshit. pedophilia is good, right? Yeah, in the LeBron James Bible, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, pedophilia is good. Yeah. By the way, I always hated this. Is, nobody's going to give a shit about this, but I always <laughs> hated when people would be like, oh, I'm only in a King James version guy. That's the real version. Oh, yeah. You're the it's dumbest like, person ever. Left. Oh, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Who gives a shit? King James wanted some. It's to sound not like real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it sounds old, though. Right. Yeah. yeah. It sounds so it's got to be the most accurate. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking idiots. Uh, yeah, it's really retarded. I like the uh, the awesome version. What is it? The teen awesome. Yeah, the Pokemon goal. Yeah, Pokemon go read the Bible version. Yeah, I like the ones that are just it's just stick drawings of interpretations <laughs> of what the Bible says. Right. Uh, the Bible for dumbasses. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we love you guys. I love you, Jay Swain Avery. I love you, Benjamin Allen Avery. Sorry about the Joe Briff. I dropped the ball. Ah, I dude. was on a different page. Hey, you know what? My heart is full of forgiveness and love and grace, just like our Lord Jesus Christ. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I love you no matter what. There's nothing you could do to stop my love from coming all over your face. I, however, will gaslight you until you hate yourself. Yeah. So and I'll mm-hmm. ask light Jace for doing it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So yeah. I, I see where we're, what we're doing. Jace is Kim Jong-un. Mm-hmm. I'm Trump. And Kevin is Jing Pao Jing, or whoever's the president of China. That's probably his name. <laughs> Jing Pao Jing? I think it's Xi Jing Pao. Chow Young Fat. Yeah, who knows? I love it. So spicy. <laughs> right, look, listen, we've been, me and President Ching Chung Bing Bong, we've been on the phone a lot. Uh, listen, he's, he's been telling me. A lot of people are asking me, why do you call it the Bing Bong fever? Listen, that's just, it's where it came from. It came from Bing Bong land. It came from Bing Bong land. The, Let's be pe- honest. Do you get offended by calling Italian food Italian food? No. So it's the Bing Bong Ching Chong fever. It, all right. It was, <laughs> uh, there was a guy over in China in the Wuhan province, President Ching Chong Bing Bong. <laughs> so, it was just some, it was some guy. He loved Ozzy Osbourne and he was biting the heads off of bats. <laughs> He just loves Ozzy so much. Yeah. And that's why we have this Chinese virus. And to be fair, it's kind of worth it because Ozzy does kick ass personally. He's very good. He yeah. kicks ass. Have you, guys heard me, have you guys heard me play the riff from Paranoid? I can almost do the whole song. I it's have, great. I have blackmail on him and I've <laughs> used it to fuck his wife. <laughs> well, I would like to uh, wrap up this episode with uh, Steve Lubeckin's suicide note. Uh, oh yeah that's a good who's that guy the guy who jumped at the comedy store and killed himself yeah well testing one two three never mind (laughs) (laughs) 
All right. Well, we didn't we didn't do that guy justice, I guess. Did you want me to play it on the computer? No, I because I got it right here. I just don't know what uh, it's just not working. Oh, we've blocked your phone from the Wi-Fi. Some, here we go. Let's see. I'll I'll send it to you, Ben, and this should work. <clears throat> I think Ben can just type it in. No, I I already tried to look for it. Uh, I I sent it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there. We go. It. And, okay, uh, now and now to ben, the world, fairness, 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 please, before it's too late. To all comedians, unite. It's in your best interest. Suze, play my <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb last set in Westwood cassette at the funeral in L.A. Jesus Christ. Bury me next to mom in New York. What a fucking loser. No revenge, please. Only love. Guys. Lebetkin's body lay on the concrete. <laughs> okay, Con so that's the rest of the... two hours. Uh, Dear, Dear Susan, please play my set from the Chuckle Hut. <laughs> it's, it's and make sucks. sure make sure you don't cut off my Chinese tranny bit to at the, the funeral. This, how is the suicide note sadder than a man taking his life? Dude, yeah, it Fair is. <laughs> it's, <laughs> the note he wrote is more tragic than the fact that he actually killed himself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Bruce just literally just sent me a text, that, which is why I was inspired to do that, that, that just said, my name is Bruce Gray. I used to work <laughs> at the comedy store. <laughs> Fairness. <laughs> Uh, it's so Did, good. Play, please play my let the kids touch the gun bit at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, All oh right. I think that's about it. Well, Remember to leave a five star review. Everybody. Please. Five stars. Five stars. We love you. Don't die. Five. Six pointed star. Five stars. If this gonna be that kind of party, I'm gonna take my dick in the back of the Oh, God! They're gonna know I'm dumb.